Right, so I regularly get asked on my Instagram to share some of the techniques that I use to support my son's learning at home, particularly around the learning areas of math and language. So in today's video, I am going to show you an activity during one of our work cycles where you will observe my son doing skip count work on a hundred board as a way to further his understanding of multiplication. I must add though that while skip counting and multiplication appear to be similar concepts, there is definitely a difference between the two. Now, skip counting is a way of counting numbers in consistent intervals or skip, whereas multiplication is an operation that is used to determine the total of several groups of the same number. So think of skip counting as bunny hopping. I don't know if that is appropriate, but let's go with the good version of it, okay? So you have two, hop, four, hop, six, hop, eight, and you keep hopping, okay? That is skip counting. In the case of multiplication, if you have something like, say, 2 times 4, what you're looking at is actually 4 groups of 2. Now, the reason why I came up with this idea to support my son's learning of multiplication is because I started to observe that he was finding it a bit challenging to accurately differentiate between the operations of multiplication and addition. Yes, I've said something new, but stay with me. We're going somewhere good with this. And this is not odd if you're having experiencing this with your child. In fact, when I was a Montessori teacher, I saw this quite a lot amongst my children and that is because both of these operations require the combination of numbers but it is happening uniquely or in unique ways on both ends okay so in the case of addition you're definitely combining numbers but you're just combining them to find a total so when you say 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 the total of all of that numbers coming together is 7 hence it is called a sum meanwhile when you come to multiplication you're still combining numbers but you're doing repeated addition of several groups of the same number not different the same number to produce a new value and hence it is called product that is so logical isn't it yes it is the material you're going to observe my son working with is not a traditional montessori one but rather it is one i obtained from treasures from jennifer which i actually prefer because the construction and design is so unique that it allows for diverse use for different kinds of learning however if you've got the traditional montessori 100 board or you can make one do not fret stick with it it works just fine I hope you're entertained by this video because we're here for entertainment. Amen? Amen. But beyond that, I hope you're inspired by a demonstration of how concrete materials help the understanding or aid the understanding of abstract concepts. Don't forget to show us some love by giving this video a thumbs up, follow and subscribe if you have not done so already. Where are you running to? Come back and subscribe. But keep watching. <laughs> Thirty four, thirty five. This is a four in a row. Why do you say that? Because look, there's diagon here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's just four in a row. Let's see which one? Here. One, two, three, four. Ah. One, two, three, four. It's like four in a row. I see that now. It's like getting four in a row once. Is it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
Watch out for that one next one. <laughs> this is like falling the man. This is like so much for the walls. Mom, mm -hmm. this is it. Is this for? Is it just me or is it just for the wall? Well, you're right. It does look like four in a row. Four is my favorite number. Three times one? Three. Three times two? Six. Three times three? Nine. Three times four? Twelve. Three times five? Fifteen. Three times six? Eighteen. Three times seven? Twenty-one. Three times eight? Twenty-four. Three times nine? Twenty-seven. Three times ten? Thirty. Three times eleven? Twenty-three. Three times twelve? Twenty-six. Three times thirty. It's the same principle. Three times thirteen is going to be what? If three times twelve is thirty-six, what is three times thirteen? Three times fourteen. What? Louder. 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 I can't hear you. And then three times fifteen. Last one is going to be what? Twenty-five. Et voilà. I had pumpkin pies. But you've not had pumpkin pie before. I know. But. I still don't know if I like it or not, so I have to try it exactly. because I have to try different food. That's true, Jedi. That's true. And we're going to, um, in Halloween, mm -hmm. we're going to get some treats. Some treats? Yes. <laughs> because you get treats for Halloween. Do you know? Do you know? Mm -hmm.